everybody? It's Titanic Fee Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. Today we're taking a look at a sneaker. Uh, it's an early birthday gift to myself with the help of my little one. But before we get into that, I need a couple of things from you guys. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Also, do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video. Do leave a comment in the comment section down below. And sub up to the channel if you haven't already. Now today, this sneaker, uh, it's a collab. So I guess that technically, technically, excuse me, makes it a hype sneaker. But I would have liked the sneaker either way without the collab because I bought a similar sneaker that wasn't a collab in a high. And both sneakers were, uh, women's sneakers that came in extended sizes. So... It came out on the uh, sneakers app and on the uh, person's website on like uh, this past weekend on Saturday. My uh, little one hit on the sneakers app for me, so shout out to my little one. I was able to get this early birthday gift for myself and for retail. As I show you the box top, the 360 out of the box, you got Nike branding all over. And here's a closer look at that sizing tag. And do keep in mind, the sizing tag shows women extended sizing. So, gonna read it for you. It says, Women's Air Jordan 1, low OG SP, SP standing for special projects. And this is a US women's size 15.5, which is size 14, your boy's size. This is definitely for the toe. And the price on these, I believe, was 160. I think it was 160 US dollars. This is the inside of the box top. You got that uh, chocolate brown on the inside of the top, just like you have on the uh, top. And you do have your paper, your pink paper. You got your wings logo here, the Travis Scott sick face. You got Cactus Jack on here. And you have Nike Air on here. And it gave us double tissue. Glossy on one side. A little rough on the other. And you look inside. There is a green and white YCM sticker. In the box. That is everything that's in the box. And as I uh, put this back together. Or attempt to anyway. Uh, you probably know whatever shoe I'm talking about. We are talking about the Travis Scott, the uh, Canary Yellow. This sneaker was uh, made based off his high school colors in the uh, Missouri City. The city of Missouri City, which is like, outside of Houston, Texas. The high school name was Elkins. That's a little background on the sneaker. So this is supposed to be Elkins High School colors. So we're gonna get a little further into the shoe. Here you go guys, we have the Women's Air Jordan Retro 1 Low OG. The Travis Scott Canary Yellow. Let me know your thoughts on the sneaker. Let me know how the release went for you guys. Uh, like I said earlier, my little one hit on the parodies for me on the sneakers app. There you go right there. Got them for the retail. I was so happy to get this retail for the toe because there was a lot of sneakers came out last week. We had these. We had the J Balvin 3 Rios. We also had the Futura Laboratories SBs. And this was the only one that I got for the retail. So we're going to dive deeper into the shoe. The sneaker is made on an all silver base. I forgot to give you guys the color blocking on this uh the color blocking was actually canary yellow blue light silver so there you go that's the colors on uh these and this is some sneaker like i said it's made on a all light silver base you got silver leather on that quarter panel light silver that is and on your toe box and it's a nice grain of leather at least on my pair my pair is nice and soft you have that blue, that royal blue reverse Travis Scott swoosh, which Dennis Rodman started back in his playing days. And you got a new buck material in the canary yellow on your lace eyelets. 
going down on your uh going around here on your mud guard now look at the uh, midsole you do have a light silver midsole with the light silver threading and you have that gum color bottom at the tip which leads to the outsole you have an all gum bottom air jordan one bottle all gum and on the back of this is the right sneaker look on the heel badge you have an embroidered air jordan wings logo on here and the light silver colorway and it's on top of that canary yellow nubuck material and on the back of the left sneaker you have an embroidered travis scott sick face in that light silver colorway on top of that canary yellow nubuck as well and we're going to look at the medial side of the sneaker. You have more of that light silver leather. You do have red, the Cactus Jack logo. Underneath that leather, royal blue swoosh. You do have more of that canary yellow nubuck material on the heel going down your lace eyelets. And down here on the mudguard. You do have light silver again on the midsole. And you do have that bubble gum or gum colorway at the very bottom of the sneaker. Uh, we got a couple goodies inside. The first one is we are back to the cardboard shoe trees. I thought we were done with that. Size 13, 14. John Jumpman logo right here. And you do see it is a die cut sock liner embedded into here. Also inside the sneaker, you have a couple set of extra laces. You have that red, and you see that Jordan, and it says shoelaces on here, and this is the back side of it. And we also have that Royal Blue. We have Royal Blue laces as well. Uh, if you're buying these on the aftermarket, make sure you're paying attention. You get all these accessories with your sneaker. And a look at that toe box. The light silver level on my pair is nice and soft. As you can see, you got a, a nylon canary yellow tongue. You do have a Travis Scott uh, woven patch right here. Light silver, cactus jacket in that royal blue. And there's a second woven patch on here in black. And it has Nike Air branding in red. It comes factory lace with the yellow flat laces. They give off a wax look. This is the back side of the tongue. There you go. You have that canary yellow piping going around the tongue. You do have a canary yellow sock liner. There you go. And try to give you guys a good look at that uh, sizing tag right there. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and read it to you. US size. 15.5 women and the production date is november the 13th of 2023 to february 1st 2024 so ooh, we got almost like three months it is about two and a half to three months of production on these and gonna show you guys the inside of the right sneaker you can see it says travis scott there you go you got nike air up in here and it says a little something different on the left sneaker and i'm not sure if you can see there's a travis scott sick face up top too on this sneaker and let's get the uh this one i'm gonna take that uh that die cut sock liner out here you go we got the John Jumpman logo in red, Cactus Jack in uh, Royal Blue, and to the very top you got a red Jordan Wings logo. So they flipped it. The sneaker that has the Travis Scott sick face on the heel has the Jordan Wings logo to the top, and vice versa. So sizing tips: these run true to size. I had one of my buddy of mine saying that his his pair ran small and i was like sir because i also was able to try on i should say a size 15 i touched the size 15 men 16.5 women and that sneaker was too big so i was glad that these came in from the nike sneakers app 
and they definitely are true to size so get your normal size in Jordan 1 I just think that brother had a defective pair or they cut the pair short I should say or he's still a growing young man but that's the thought but that's my thoughts on this sneaker let me know yours down below in the comment section and I'm gonna end the video like I always tell you guys if you can help somebody get a sneaker help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker I'm Titanic Feed Jack signing out